power of NYU's name. If nothing else, come to NYU for New York. Oh, congrats. Oh, good job. And I'm just like, okay. The bureaucracy of NYU is real, folks. Hey there, my name's Darcy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video because I know a lot of you out there are people who are going to NYU, transferring to NYU, interested in NYU because that is how you found my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than some of the other videos I've done because a lot of them have been more about transferring and advice and that kind of thing which is all really important so definitely check those out. I have a whole playlist of transferring and that kind of thing so definitely check that out if you are interested. I also have a bunch of college advice videos just more generally so yeah but that's not what today's video is today's video is more geared towards people who are interested in NYU and want to know what exactly it's like what to expect so I kind of want to make it what you don't know about NYU before coming here because there are so many great things about this school and I hope no one comes away from this thinking that you shouldn't go here because that is not what I'm trying to do. I just want to make people more aware of the things I've learned since coming here about what it means to be an NYU student that I was just not expecting or didn't know beforehand. So I hope you find this video helpful and definitely comment down below if you go to NYU or are interested in NYU and if you have any other questions you want me to answer in another video maybe. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy and let's just get right on into it. It. So I have some things written down on my phone that I've just written down randomly over the past few months or so and I just for whenever I wanted to make this video and so here we are. Um, so if I look down that's why I don't mean to be annoying <laughs> but yeah. So the first thing that I was not expecting at all is the power of NYU's name both in New York and just in general i'm from chicago if you don't know and even there so basically in chicago almost no one had heard of william and mary which is where i transferred from if you don't know and i just say nyu's name and people know it and here it's like oh you go to nyu like if you're if you live in new york being an nyu student puts you ahead of like pretty much any other college student except for maybe like columbia i guess um yeah because there's so many schools in manhattan and honestly like you can't really know them all especially because a lot of them are really small but if you say you are an nyu student automatically people are like oh congrats oh good job and i'm, I'm just like okay thanks <laughs> like what <laughs> i just like go to school i don't know um and so it's just so weird because it's so different from telling people i went to william and mary because i always have to explain it but literally guys they're ranked almost the same it's it's so weird how much power the name has and i feel like it's going to be interesting to see how that changes too in terms of career wise like when i get out into the real world the real world i hate that but um just like the power of having a degree from nyu will make a big difference i feel like because of the name power and so i just was not expecting that and so in some ways i guess that's a perk because people know the name so like i feel like that'll be good for my resume compared to william and mary just because people know it more especially where i'm from and being in new york people are like oh yeah nyu versus william and mary is like sometimes people know but most of the time they don't so definitely be ready for that i guess is what i'm saying and be ready for random people to congratulate you because it's a little bit weird but that's what they do even if you've been there for like a really long time i feel like they still do that so one thing about nyu that attracted me to it is the diversity because they attract a lot of international students and students of different walks of life they were kind of founded on that because they wanted to be i think the first school in new york don't quote me if I'm wrong on this, but I think they were like the first school in New York to accept people from all sorts of different backgrounds. They've always been like pretty progressive, it seems like, from what I know. But to that being said, um, I have noticed, and there are statistics that I have heard that back this up, that NYU is not economically diverse. To be able to afford to go here is privileged you have to have enough money like you can't be in poverty obviously or even like lower class really so i my sociology professor shared a statistic and it was something like 90 percent of students who go to nyu are above the average income or something like that it was something really profound like nyu students have a lot of money was the point and while we are diverse in a lot of racial things and ethnic groups, gender, etc., sexual orientation, economically we are not. And I 
feel like that's probably true in most colleges just because you have to have money to go to college in the United States because it is so expensive but I don't think NYU does a really good job offering money to students even though they definitely have plenty of money to throw around because they spend a lot of money on other things like the stairs and Kimmel and my right NYU student um, anyway so yeah I think that's one thing they can maybe improve on so I guess just be ready for there to be a lot of students who have money especially the international ones. Now this is one that's a little bit weird and I feel like it sticks out for me because I transferred from a smaller school, which is the bureaucracy of NYU is real folks. Honestly, there are so many times where you like have to get stuff done and you never meet a person ever. Like I'm getting housing accommodations for next semester and I didn't have to meet with anyone in person at all. It's all over forms online and emails and stuff like that. And it's kind of weird. Which William and Mary had that to an extent. Like for stuff like that, yeah, you you don't necessarily meet with someone, but I just feel like it's to an extreme level. Like there are offices on top of offices on top of offices that get stuff done, and it's just a little bit different in the sense that the professors don't know what's going on in the rest of the bureaucracy. Where at William and Mary, they kind of had to a little bit more, just because it was smaller and they. I don't know they just knew what was going on in terms of like I've had professors where they literally don't know what's going on for the online class um, in terms of like where they post things and why students are enrolled in it and they're like that's just like not something I can help you with versus at William & Mary I feel like professors would be able to figure that out so it's just people only are doing what they're told to do in the bureaucracy so professors they focus on teaching tech people will deal with all that other stuff and then all the administration will deal with all the paperwork stuff and it's just very bureaucratic and that's not necessarily a bad thing because that's what needs to happen for a big university like this to function but if you aren't one to take initiative I would say don't come here because you have to be the one to take initiative a lot of the time like your advisor isn't going to hand you down you have to know that you're supposed to meet with them to get your classes confirmed before you can enroll that kind of thing so you just have to know how the bureaucracy functions and how to maneuver it but you can kind of google anything you need so I haven't really had problems with it I actually feel like it's more efficient because of the way it's structured like my dad has commented on that too in terms of like the financial aspect that they just get things done really quickly um just like in terms of deposits and down payments and that kind of thing housing yeah sometimes not so much but in general they're really efficient about it so i think that's a perk of it i guess but there's pros and cons to it one thing i wasn't expecting about the student population is how many people are actually from new york and are commuting or like still living with their family and i was just really surprised by that i guess people who are from New York still love New York so they just want to stay and do school here which is totally fine like nothing against that it's just I was surprised how many people were actually New Yorkers who go to NYU and so to me it's like a very different college experience than moving here for college because you're still living with your family or at least like the people I've met who commute often are sometimes people commute like because they live farther away from campus but they're on their own so like that's different I'm talking about like people who are native New Yorkers and it's just I don't know I was just not expecting it I was really surprised and I met some transfer students who like left New York and then came back which is really interesting too so I guess just be ready for people to like talk about where from in New York they're from which I was just not expecting like people will talk about like what neighborhood they're from in Brooklyn or something or Queens and it's like I don't know or like Long Island so just yeah kind of in retrospect to the last one a little bit I do feel like when you come here to NYU and you're not from New York, you get what it feels like to be a New Yorker pretty quickly because just the way the campus is, you're not in a bubble. Like that's how William and Mary was. You were in a bubble pretty much in that town and New York, you're living in New York. Like there's no bubble like where you leave campus and start entering the city. Like. Washington Square Park even has tons of tourists and random people that aren't students there So you get the sense that you are a New Yorker I honestly feel like an adult oftentimes who's just living here taking classes and that's a really cool feeling But not for everyone so definitely you have to be of a certain maturity level I think and just like be responsible um, Because you are kind of an adult you have to like take care of yourself and there aren't 
dining halls in every dorm kind of thing and you just have to yeah be able to take care of yourself especially because a lot of the dorms are apartment style like you get that feeling too where you have to clean your own bathroom and i go and shop for groceries so stuff like that definitely makes me feel more like an adult new yorker and you just kind of are thrust into the new york lifestyle very quickly and you can't really live in new york without feeling that sense of like the fast-paced lifestyle i think so i'm not sure how to like explain this exactly other than this past semester i was in four really big lectures which i hated but then for my summer classes i'm in really teeny tiny classes and so i think that it just has to do with the nature of the classes i was taking and then being summer session a lot less people are here but for my first semester i was like i hate how big these classes are and my is so much bigger than william and mary so that was something i just was really disappointed in i think but i think it's going to get better as i get into the more specific classes and just like being in the summer session right now it's just a lot smaller which is really great and so i guess you can find some of those smaller classes but in terms of like the really generic core classes and intro classes those are going to be really big lectures where your professor is not going to know your name so just be prepared for that i guess and yeah if you don't like that pick a smaller school but at the same time you can still get those smaller classes here too so don't be like i don't know scared of that if you don't like that either because look literally the classes i'm in right now one has four students and one has 11 i believe so they're really small but again this is summer session so i'm not sure i feel like next fall i'll be in some smaller classes and some bigger ones maybe but it definitely depends on your major as well i think because if you're in like tish my guess is the classes are smaller versus like i'm in cas which has a lot of bigger classes because there's a lot of requirements uh, but then as I get more into my journalism major, I know that like the classes are smaller, which is what I'm starting to take One thing that does make NYU kind of hard is it's hard to find a sense of community here because it is so intertwined with New York and people are doing so many things because there are so many opportunities here So in that sense, I feel like kind of not connected to a lot of people here and people you can meet in your classes and that kind of thing but you don't really like stay in touch or at least i don't stay in touch with them that much um it's hard because like my closest friend i don't have any classes with her i never see her on campus and so even though we're both nyu students like there's just not that connection on campus all the time like i walk around campus and i don't see people i know really for the most part so it's just like very different than if you go to a smaller school i guess where at william mary i didn't know everyone obviously but you could walk around campus and often see people you knew or just like people you recognize because you walk past the same people a lot so it's just very different but it's kind of whatever you are interested in and if that's what you want which i wanted to move to new york so i had to take that because that's part of living in new york i do like the anonymity of it in the sense that you can just like go out and no one's gonna know you so that's why i feel pretty comfortable vlogging in public in general is because i feel like if people are gonna judge me i don't really care it's just whatever and it's new york people do weird stuff and they're never gonna see me again probably so there's pros and cons again i mean there's pros and cons to everything about nyu one thing that is a little bit harder about going to nyu is that it's hard to balance school and like wanting to explore the city and be a tourist kind of um like sometimes if I feel like I have a lot of work, I just can't get out very easily. I have to focus on work, but then that kind of makes me sad because I want to go do stuff. So that balance can be a little bit of a struggle, but even having that problem is a fun thing to have because in a small town in Williamsburg, I was like super bored and there was nothing to do, even if I wanted to do stuff. So here, that's not a problem. Like there's so much to do. It's just that sometimes i know i have to focus on work and then you know that's not as much fun as going out and exploring new york but having the city at our disposal is really fun to be able to explore and i think being a young 20 something is the perfect time to do it when you don't have any family ties that you have to maintain or i mean you can you can be in a relationship but i'm not so like ooh, single ladies out there yes but yeah new york is new york is great if nothing else come to nyu for new york i feel like overall the biggest pro for nyu i kind of want to end on a positive the biggest pro is the amount of opportunity that you can get connected to by being in new york being in a small town before i had almost no journalism opportunities and there are so many opportunities here whether it's on campus or off people do internships so much and just like there's 
so many strong programs because there are like literally almost everything is in New York so it's just a really great thing and like I know my journalism class we might be going to some site visits going to other news um, organizations and stuff so like that's something you can't do anywhere but in New York there are so many great things here and you can't extrapolate NYU from New York which I think is a good thing in the sense that you just have so much here that you are here to thrive towards and <laughs> that doesn't make any sense there's just so much here that is open to your exploration and your discovery to get experiences and I think overall by going to college in New York you're gonna get so much more out of your college experience than if you just go to some big state school with not as many opportunities there so in that sense living in a big city for college makes a lot of sense so that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it maybe got some ideas about things at NYU you didn't know before and what it's really like to be an NYU student yeah and let me know down below if you have questions like I said I'll try and answer them or make another video and I hope you all are having a great day so yeah definitely check out some of my other videos in my vlogs if you want to get a more sense of what it feels like to live in my life at NYU so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye